So I'm back with just, I'll try and keep this quick one. This is about footwear. It's about blowing some myths, right? So people come into me injured, they'll say, oh, my, my Achilles, my foot, my knee, my hip, my arse is sore, right? And they'll say, maybe I need to buy a new pair of runners because I've had mine pair six months. I would say, and the research would say, that's not true. There is no increased risk of injury, of overuse injury or of any of these niggling injuries by wearing old runners, okay? If they lose grip, then you might slip and fall on the ice, that's fine, but in terms, without talking about the grip, there's still, there's no problem with wearing them. And here's a good example. This is mine and this is my wife's. We both ran the 2015 Dublin Marathon in these puppies, and we're still wearing them today, okay? And I might even wear them for the freaking Ironman in August, if it goes ahead. Uh, and I would say what just what's quality about them is that these are Gore-Tex, so like you don't you know dry feet at the end of your run. Um, so yeah, people can get a little bit precious about it. They might say, yeah, but this pair I have to stay with it. I have to get a new one after six months. The co I feel the companies want you to think that way, you know. So the research says differently. And then lastly, minimal shoes. There's loads I could talk about, uh, but they're really a good idea provided you go into them gently so the best advice would be just walk around barefoot every day for a few months before you attempt to look at these okay and i personally don't run long distance in these because you could cause a bit of a a soreness with the forces but there's nothing that would stop you building up to long distances so i would use these for 5k 6k and then into these for longer than that okay hope that uh has maybe cleared a few cobwebs um any questions please do email me and keep up the running